Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jace or Hirsch bringing you a brand new YouTube video guys Welcome back to the channel today's a tutorial video a tutorial that a lot of people have been wanting to see I made one of these a while back on Formatting with Sony Vegas videos for TikTok, etc. And today I'm gonna to be making another one of those videos for you guys Hopefully clearing up some of the confusion that was in the previous video that I made a few months back If you guys enjoy please drop a like share it to your buddy if he needs it and uh, I think since the first video I made I'm, I'm just around um, 130,000 here on TikTok, so pretty consistent growth over the last few months on TikTok. Streams have been amazing and just recently got Twitch partnered. I think I really appreciate everybody uh, that's been supporting me personally. I'm going to hop right into this beautiful, beautiful tutorial for you guys, and I hope this helps somebody out, okay? So let's get right into it. Sony Vegas, this is what I use. You know, uh, these days a lot of people are using Premiere or Final Cut. There's a lot of different programs out there that people use. The only reason I use Sony Vegas still is just because... I've been editing on it for years, and it's just I'm, I'm, fami I'm familiar with it. Um, it's easier for me, and especially for TikTok stuff. I started this one a couple weeks back, and these are all the TikToks I've made since basically starting this new thing. What I'm going to do is fill this fill this thing up a little bit and then um, delete it and make a new one. But here I'm going to show you a video that I created. Actually, this is today's TikTok. So here, here we go. Folks, Warzone has just been hitting different lately. Different. I'm surprised they haven't banned me for cheating yet. Yeah. Remember, today is Sub Sunday, so I'm going to be playing Ooh, with a little bit of lag here. Rebirth Island. Search and destroy. We'll see you on stream for some action. So obviously you got the uh, the face cam into Bro, the gameplay. There's just no fucking way, man. If you're not getting, oh, come the fuck on, man. Can I just get set up in rebirth? Aww. Makes zero sense to me. Get me off this shit. <laughs> so. So basically, if you're looking to do something along those lines, this is how I format my stuff. And keep in mind, I format them differently. So some days I'll do like the, the top cam, you know, with the text. Text is very important when it comes to TikTok, um, you know, with the viewer retention rate. And obviously, if you're trying to get bigger on TikTok or get better, I could create a different video on that for gaming. But um, this video is just editing and how to do it. So basically what I'm going to do here is open up a new... Um, project okay and what you're gonna want to do if you're brand new to this is make your own custom um, template so mine is basically just says TikTok, and everything's already set in stone um, if you wanted to make a new one you can even do this H HDV 1080 60i and make it customize it to yourself so it needs to be 1080 1920 you need to flip it um, frame rate I would uh, recommend that you pull that down to 59.940 and I believe actually let me test this out real quick I just want to make sure that you guys can do 60 frames um, I believe if you type in 60 there you go it'll automatically lock that at 60 so make sure you do that um, but I'm gonna go back down to my own custom template and I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna drag some I got a bunch of videos in here what can we use I'm just gonna use a random uh, video it's gonna ask you do you want to set your project video settings to match this media? Obviously you would click no because that's gonna stretch your video to an actual video size You want it to be the tick-tock phone size be hurry be hurry. Okay Send us to to let them know so I'm just gonna cut this real quick and go ahead and Form this for you guys to show you guys what I'm actually talking about here. So Everything with formatting is in this little button here on your Sony Vegas. Not, uh, it's next to the FX button. You want to click that. Make sure your width 1080, 1920, and you're obviously want to not. You're going to want to uh, click no for the maintain aspect ratio. Very important. That way you can, you know, what I'm saying mess with your video. Okay. If you click, if this is stays to yes, it's going to stay uniform, as you can see right here. Um, but you're going to want to, you, know, you can stretch it however you want. I'm going to put it kind of right in here. Or if you wanted to make a uh, camera size, you can mask it. And you can do whatever. You can do a circle. Let me get rid of that real quick. Uh, let's just do a regular box for like a camera size. So there you go. Boom. Perfect. And we can position that accordingly by dragging these, messing with these corners. And really fitting that into your TikTok area here. Putting that towards the top. And boom, you got a little webcam. Okay, it looks like you're... You know, it looks like uh, this was your in-game webcam from streaming or whatever. Another little cool effect we could do here is select this clip. Click U on your keyboard. U. Uh, copy. Paste that clip. Duplicate it so you can have two versions. And we can go ahead and mess with this other version as well and maybe do something a little bit different for a little uh, cool background look. 1920, 1080. 
same thing. Uh, we're going to get rid of the mask since we don't want the mask. And we're going to go ahead and stretch this all the way like this. There's so many things you guys can do. Obviously, I'm just giving you guys some, some ideas, okay? And then you can go into your video FX here and look, look for a Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur, and we'll put that right there and just blur it up. And then obviously, you can throw your text on it, whatever the case may be. I'll grab a clip here for you guys so I can show you a little clip action. Um, a little Call of Duty Warzone, a little Urish. I don't know what this is, guys. Guys, like I said, there's so many different ways you can edit your stuff. This is simple. This is basic. There's a lot more things that you can do with Sony Vegas and... Um, what I would do if I were you is look up some tutorials and if, if you're trying to do certain things like freeze frames um, Freeze frame is very important. I can make a video on that too eventually, but not right now So we're gonna know. do that. We're gonna fade is that into guy? the clip yeah, a little bit the... Just kidding <laughs> Right here. I know scoped him. Okay, I'm just gonna end that right there Now this is probably the most important part for like gaming clips and, and stuff like that Obviously, you know people want that vertical look Somebody's in the sky with the gaming clips. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy I'll just do this for you again Click this button. We're going to go into a nice, remember, 1080, 1920. And let's see, maintain aspect ratio. Click no. Um, and obviously, guys, all this stuff on the side, you don't want any of this clicked. You only want your normal edit tool and your show properties clicked. Okay, guys? Um, that's it. You don't want anything else clicked. It's going to mess with your video. It's going to allow for some, some issues that you just don't want to deal with. So remember, 1080 by 1920 in the width and height, and to match to match those project settings, maintain aspect ratio is no. You can really drag that clip here, guys. Drag it up. Let's see. Drag it down to the bottom. Okay. There we go. And see what I'm doing? I'm just grabbing grabbing these boxes on outside of the uh, giant square here, and then we're gonna pull that over. Obviously, it looks super beautiful. Let's see what that looks like. No. Somebody's in the sky. Yeah, I think someone's on there. Beautiful. Just kidding. Right here. Looks good overall. What we're going to do to get that webcam in there, guys, is we're going to click U on that clip, just like we did in the beginning. That basically, um, by clicking U on the clip, it basically just um, separates the audio and the video on that clip. So you can grab the top without dragging the bottom as well. We're going to copy that paste it since we're going to need another duplicate version of that and we're going to go ahead and um, copy paste the, the event attributes over to the bottom one and then we're going to mess with the top one so we can mess with that camera a little bit go into the masking area and grab your select tool guys your normal edit tool zoom in on your face I look like I'm going nuts um, and we're going to click the mask button here hopefully this isn't very hard to understand what I ought to do what I would do if I were you guys is just Slow this video down one by one. Listen to what I'm saying, guys. It'll, you'll understand. And we're going to grab... Actually, you can just grab the whole camera if you wanted. Let's just grab the entire thing real quick. Okay, we got our entire camera. We're going to go back to position. And basically what you do in position, if you just grab your, your giant square here, rectangle. Look at that. There's your masked camera. Poor masking job, but for the sake of the video and the, intro, or the uh, tutorial here, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, show you guys what that would look like so boom let's let's restart it here again i don't know what this video is but you guys get the gist be hurish send us to all your friends and let them know yeah. somebody's in the sky yeah, I think someone's on there. just kidding right here i know scope too beautiful so let's see here what i would do if i were you guys to spice it up a little bit what i like to do to my clips if you're in sony vegas there's some things you can do auto looks under the video F fx tab are very important very nice to add a little bit of a different look on some of your clips i, I like to use lose uh, private brian that's what i use it makes it puts a little bit of a color correction on that clip so behind there you can see the difference default color correction i like to do a little bit uh, like 60 68 somewhere in there so it's not all the way too much but it also has a nice little effect to it so just find your sweet spot as far as the clip itself you could use one of these as well on the clip i mean look at that it's just going to brighten it up a little bit check this out let them know yeah. somebody's in the sky. Yeah, I think someone's on the Just Baby. Right here. I know scope too. You know what I'm saying, chat? Beautiful. I'm talking to you guys like it's my Twitch stream right now. I don't know if you guys knew this, but on the left side of your Sony Vegas, you're gonna want to insert video track to get more. You know, you could add uh, text. Insert. Let's do a text. All right, you got some text here. We're obviously gonna make that probably 12. Yeah, that's good enough. We're gonna say hi. My name is. Boom. You can do um, different. 
uh, text fonts, you know, to make it a little bit cooler for you, however you want to do your text for your TikToks. Like I said, I think text is super important. If you guys um, are into gaming, into TikTok stuff, into Warzone, Call of Duty, all just video games, period, um, you guys can check out my TikTok at Hirsch TV. I'm Hirsch TV on everything. So if you guys need anything, you guys need anything, uh, any help or any uh, advice, make sure to put a comment in the bottom of this. And um, what you do here is obviously match it up to your to your voice, right? So very simple. You know, you just look at your audio. What did I say here? Be hurish. Said hey hurish. Some of the Pause that. Drag that down there. I said hey hurish. You guys get the gist. You know what I'm saying? Um, for audio purposes, you want to put some music behind it. If you don't want to use the TikTok music, grab a grab some music somewhere and, and drag that down here and put it below. Um, but yeah, hopefully that fix your formatting. And it helped you guys out with the whole editing process, the masking process, what needs to be done to make a solid looking TikTok video. It doesn't even need to be gaming. This could be anything, guys. This really works for everything. Um, any, any type of content that you guys are trying to push on the platform. Remember, the most important part, your project settings in the beginning. So if you're creating a new project, um, you're going to want to make sure that you have a custom template created with the right aspect ratio, width and height, 1080 by 1920, 60 frames, kind of like this, and make sure you're saving it as well and name it if you want to name it TikTok like I did. Hopefully you guys got something out of that video. It was super, I would say it's super basic. Like I said, there's a lot that you can do with the program itself. If you have issues with masking or if you have issues with really anything, look up some YouTube videos, tutorials are your best friend. And I hope that today I helped you guys out just a little bit. Um, it's your boy Hirsch. You know, if you guys want more of these, uh, leave a suggestion in the comments. Other than that, I'm going to keep pushing out my YouTube videos and, uh, you know, growing my community individually. So thank you guys so much. And uh, your boy is out. See you.